Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Old Detailing Channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about dilutions of detailing products. It seems to be very simple, but I remember uh, when I started to do car care, uh, it took me a while before I got it correct. Uh, basically, all producers uh, give some sort of idea of how to dilute their products. Uh, in real life, we have to find out the, the dilution of each product that will work for what we need. Uh, but it's a good idea to actually check the bottle, check the label to see what sort of dilution they recommend. So in this case, uh, it's about safety of the product that we use on surfaces. So we have three products from the same producer. Uh, let's start from this one here. Uh, textile rinse from ADBL. It's a product to make solution for rinsing off the upholstery when we clean the fabrics. Uh, so this product we use uh, from a vacuum. Uh, dilution of this product. In this case, it's very simple because it says 50 milliliters of product to 10 liters of water. So that's that's very simple. Uh, the next product we have here is all purpose cleaner. Uh, this product, the dilution of the product says that uh, one to 10 for heavy soil. Uh, we can obviously, if we have lighter dirt, we can use this product still, uh, but we just make bigger dilution. So we can do it one to 20, one to 30, one to 40. Uh, and basically we find out the solution that does the job for us. And the third product we have here, it's a snow foam. Uh, in case of pro uh, snow foams, most producers, they give ratio in percents. So what we have here, it says uh, foam gun, one to two percent. Uh, so basically I remember the first time when I got product like this and it was given percent, such a low percent, I was very confused because uh, one to two percent if we use for one liter bottle, that would mean that we use uh, basically 10 milliliter or 20 milliliter of the product. Uh, but that was wrong altogether. And at that dilution, the product didn't work for me at all because it was too much diluted. So when it comes to snow foams, uh, when, what we need to check is the PIR. So, so the percentage uh, comes to PIR and the PIR stands for panel impact ratio. When it comes to PIR, I'm going to show you how to calculate it later in this video. Uh, now I will show you just uh, how to dilute products like all purpose cleaners or we could have uh, wheel cleaners that they need to be diluted. Uh, and there is a range of products that you might need to know uh, how to dilute them correctly. So let's start from uh, how to calculate dilution for all purpose cleaner. Uh, let's say we want to achieve a solution 1 to 10 in this case, it will be one part of uh, all proposed cleaner to 10 parts of water. So what that means is we don't put 100 milliliter of uh, product and fill up with uh, up to one liter with water because uh, then we'll get in different ratio. So I'm going to show you on the, on the piece of paper how to calculate it very simple. So let's say we want to mix one liter of ready solution uh, in re dilution ratio of 1 to 10. So in the case of producers, what they mean by the ratio 1 to 10 is one part of product to 10 parts of water. Uh, so in this case, they don't mean 10 equal parts of product and, and water altogether. They mean one part of product and 10 of water. So that gives us 11 equal parts. Uh, so to, to get the ratio right, what we need to do, we need to divide one liter, in this case I'll turn it to milliliters, one liter of water, thousand milliliters, divided by 11, and the result we'll get on the calculator here. So, the well, we need to use 90 milliliters, uh, 90.9 milliliters of product, so let's round it to 91 milliliters. So, this is how much product we need to achieve one liter of ready solution uh, with ratio 1 to 10. So basically we can calculate any sort of uh, ratios this way. Uh, let's say we want to achieve uh, 500 milliliters of ready solution with ratio of uh, 1 to 15. So uh, what we have here is uh, one part of product, 15 parts of water, that, that gives us 16. So 500 milliliters divided by 16 and this gives us 31 let's say 31 milliliters of product. So let's just do another one 
Uh, let's say you want to make mix uh, one liter of ready solution uh, one to six. So what we have one to six that gives us seven. We divide the thousand liters by seven, and that will come to. If 142 milliliters, so we can round it to 140 milliliters. Uh, so as you can see, it's uh, very simple to get correct dilution uh, if we want to be 100% accurate. Uh, however, I don't think it uh, makes that much difference if we add that little bit more or less product. If the product is not strong enough, I just add more product to, just to adjust the strength, just, just to make it stronger. That's, that's really it. Uh, but we, if we start to dilute the products with uh, what producers recommend, we can't really go, go wrong because the producers, they want to be on the safe side so they, they won't give you dilution that can actually uh, cause some damage. Uh, so now I'm going to show you how to calculate PIR. Uh, this one will be a little bit more tricky, uh, involves a little bit more to get the accurate, num accurate numbers. Uh, what PIR is, it's a panel impact ratio and that comes to uh, what amount of product lands on the panel. When we want to calculate the PIR, when uh, we want to be very accurate with the amount of product, it, well, that basically comes to using snow foam guns uh, from a pressure washer. Because every pressure washer will give uh, different pressure, so the amount of water that goes through the gun uh, when we wash in the car might be different. If we want to be 100% accurate, then we can measure the PIR. So now I'm going to go to my wash bay and I will show you how you can calculate the PIR uh, for your power washer. So to measure the PIR of uh, a product that we want to use uh, from our foam lance, what we need to do, we need to measure amount of water uh, that we will use during washing pr process uh, from our power hose as well. So it's not just the solution from the tank, but it's also the water that goes through, through the foam lance from power washer. So we need to fill up our foam lance with one liter of water, attach it to our power hose and fill up a bucket uh, until the whole solution from the foam lance will be emptied out. After that, we, we can weigh the water that is in the bucket and uh, then we can calculate this because one liter of water is equal to one kg. So I will really give it a go. Uh, the bucket itself weighs about 400 grams. So I just write it down. Uh, we have to remember that we have to set up the uh, foam gun more or less where we have it normally when we wash it. So what we've got there is 15.9 uh, kg uh, minus weight of the bucket, so that's 15.5. Uh, uh, so that's total amount of water that we used uh, from power washer and the foam lance. So what we need to do now to calculate the PIR, uh, we need to convert the kgs to liters. So 15 and a half uh, kgs, uh, 15 and a half liter. Uh, then we need to convert it to milliliters, so that's 15,500 15, milliliters. And then to get the PIR, what we need to do is we need to uh, use the total. So th this number here, uh, then we need to multiply it by 0 0.01. Uh, that's our PIR if we want to get 1% of PIR and that will give us uh, amount of product. So to calculate that, 15,500 milliliters multiplied by 0 0.1, uh, this, that's given us uh, 155 milliliters. So we have PIR of 1%.
so in this case, when producer uh, recommends 1% of PIR, uh, this is how we can calculate it. Obviously, if we use different power washer, different formulas, this number will be different. Uh, so, but basically, if we do that once, then we have good idea about PIR for our setup. Uh, to calculate uh, 2% or 3% or 5%, what we need to do is now, uh, we need to multiply this number by, let's say, if we want to get 2%, 155 multiplied by 2, this gives us 310 milliliters of product. Uh, to get uh, 3%, we multiply this number by 3, so our PIR for this will be, uh, the amount of product will be 465 milliliters. And basically, uh, we can calculate the percentage uh, this way. If we want 5, we just multiply uh, this number by 5, and then, then we get in the, the, the right amount of product. So calculating the PIR uh, takes a little bit of time, uh, especially if you have to use the bucket, you have to weigh that, uh, calculate all the numbers. Uh, but we, if we do that once, we have a good idea what's PIR for our power washer, our formulas. We don't have to do that each time because uh, we have the numbers there and we can work from that. So that's everything in this video. Thanks for watching. I hope the video will be helpful for you uh, when it comes to calculation of dilution or PIR. If you have any questions, uh, comment below. I try to answer them as best as I can. If you like the video, make sure you hit this thumb up and see you on the next one.